What is going on YouTube and welcome back to a brand new pickup video on this channel. So as you can see in front of you, there is a lot to, to go through in this video. Starting from that bag on the left with all the Star Wars stuff in front, the records and books, all the wires and consoles on the on the right with the, uh, the Beatles stuff in the back there, the Beatle rock band on the Wii in the background. So this bundle came from Facebook. The bloke messaged me out of the blue do you still collect gaming stuff? I said, yeah. Um, he sent me a picture. Honestly, it looked like two boxes worth of stuff. He said, I want 80 pounds for it. I don't know if pictures didn't turn up or if I just didn't look at the pictures right, but there was definitely not 80 pounds worth of stuff in these pictures that he sent. A little bit blurry, couldn't really focus on what there, there was. It was all messy as well. All these, all these boxes I've tidied up since, uh, receiving and owning them so i said 80 is too much he dropped down to 50 which i thought was a huge drop considering then he mentioned that he just wanted them gone uh so i jokingly said 35 i was expecting him to haggle a bit in price he didn't he just said go for it he even dropped them off to me um so yeah basically 35 pounds for this whole collection remember that price remember that cost of what i've paid for this bundle I'm going to start with a black box in the middle and kind of work myself around and show you what I've got in this pickup video. So starting with this box, as you can see, there is a nice selection of records. Um, starting with like a now, that's what I call music number two, Saturday Night Fever, uh, loads of Elvis records. Christmas album, Grace, West Side Story, uh, and then the amazing Technic Color uh, Dreamcoat. So yeah, nice little selection of records. Uh, don't really want to focus on the records in this video because I don't really deal with records. Uh, you can kind of see there, there's four of these, there's two more down there uh, for your pills, showing morning, noon, night, and the backup ones, Sunday to Saturday, probably no value in them, but you know, they were chucked in. A, a JVC CD receiver. I don't know if this has got a radio on it actually. Uh, but yeah, basically, as you can tell, you plug it in, old cars. Um, I don't really think new cars have the ability to just swap the the cd part out anymore i think that's kind of died off but yeah it's all in there i don't really know what to do with this again it's something that i've never really dealt with before i've never bought to sell i've never bought from my own car let alone uh yeah so i uh, really really no idea i don't even know what the value on one of these would be um again i've no way of proving this works so it'd be sold as spares um and then you've got Talking about old technology, you've got a lovely little uh, cassette recorder with a load of stickers on it. Again, no idea if that works. I haven't got around to testing anything yet. We've got a range of books. He-Man, Master of the Universe, uh, Harry Potter pop-up book. The best one out of this collection is this DC book. DC Comics, year by year. This is apparently the updated edition. Uh, it dates from the early 30s all the way up to uh, 2012. So it may be a few years out of date already, but it's still a really, really cool book to own. So 1937 now, 40s, 50s, moving on to the 60s. 70s 80s 90s moving on to the 2000s and yeah like i said last couple of years is like 2012 in this book um there are 360 368 pages in that book um now i don't really want to own this book i don't really want to collect it uh i don't really have the room for it to be honest um but it's got to be worth a, a few quid. It's a pretty nifty 
book to own for any superhero fans out there. So I might look up and see what kind of value that's worth. But like I said, again, this bundle has cost me £35. I'm not going to say it's all in that box on its own because I don't think record there's any records in this uh, in this bundle that's worth a huge amount. That sold as spares, so I don't really expect that to bring in a lot of money. The books, again, I don't really think there's a huge amount of money in, in books unless you get the odd one that's worth a few quid. For example, that DC one might be interesting. Talking about interesting items, we've got a really, really cool little fella here. Whoa! Uh, this is a Furby. Most people should remember these from the late 90s. This one is from 98, so it's a original uh, generation one. Um, first year it came out was 1998, so yeah, first year. Um, I have checked the uh it's a shame about that but i've checked the batteries and nothing's corroded inside which is good that might be an easy easy mend to be honest little little uh stitch somewhere um you've got the amazing lightsaber double-sided lightsaber a big fan of that one probably end up keeping that for my own collection. Uh, let's move the Furby out of the way. <clears throat> we have a Star Wars cookie jar, which is basically brand new. Uh, I'll take the first layer off and you'll see what I mean. Um, so obviously it makes sounds when you take the jar off, it's still got the plastic on it. So it's never been used, which is cool. It is obviously from the, the later films, the newer, the newer films. So there may not be as much of a value, but there's still going to be someone out there that wants this. Realistically, I want it, but I don't think I've got room for it. A bit more Star Wars goodies. Star Wars Episode 1 CD player with Darth Maul on the front there. Even comes with a brand new set of headphones. 10 second stick protection. Uh, I don't know when Star Wars Episode 1 come out. 99. That's a nice newbie. New. Let's not break the cookie jar. Continuing the uh, Darth Maul side of things, we've got the Darth Maul Rubik's Cube, which is nicely boxed and looked after, uh, looking as creepy as always. So something like this obviously attracts Cubic Cube fans, it attracts the Star Wars fans, um, and collects. Um, and it's also for people that like collect boxed or sealed items. So there's going to be a, a bit of a market for something like this. Again, it's something I'd like to keep, but I know that I don't collect Star Wars stuff. And I don't want to start collecting Star Wars stuff because there's just going to be too much in my in my, my small games room as it is. We've got not one, not one, but two Star Wars watches, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this bundle cost me £35. I guarantee the... Star Wars, um, just the Star Wars stuff is probably going to bring my money back. I'm pretty sure on that. You're not going to be able to find stuff like that every day, are you? Realistically. Let's put that back in there. Move that out of the way quickly. Let's move the little Furby out of the way. In the bag that I showed at the beginning of this video, there is a, uh, comes with a manual, which is cool, a compact VHS video movie camera recorder player. Um, it's nice that it's bagged. It's nice that it comes with all the paperwork. There is slight damage to what I think is the speaker there. But apart from that, it looks all good. Again, I haven't tested any of this yet. Um, this is about the box of what I kind of like the most out of this whole collection. 
because as much as I like the Star Wars stuff, I'm not going to keep any of it. So in this collection, you've got a couple of third party NES cases and a couple of official cases. Just chuck them in that box for a minute. A little uh, mini disc that hasn't been used. Continuing that Star Wars theme quickly. Luke Skywalker, 1996 apparently. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the value of that would be, but I'll chuck that with the Star Wars goodies. There is a bag of Game Boy loose carts. There's nothing great in this collection. And a pink um, PS2 memory card. <coughs> um, I don't really want to go through a lot of this because it's just a lot of a lot of the same almost. Um, let me see if I can open this one-handed. Sorry about that. So I managed to pick up this watch that I've had some news on it, and apparently this watch, it as you can see, it says Talking Watch Two. Um, I have no idea what this watch is worth. I know that um, Casios are worth quite a bit, depending on what they are. Um, this is, from what I can tell, from what people are telling me online, this is a watch for slightly blind people. It talks to you when you when you need to know what the time is. So I don't know what the kind of value on one of them would be, but it's cool to have. Never had one of them before. There's a couple of PS1 games. There is a huge selection of CDs. Um, now, I don't really bother with CDs. I don't think there's a huge value in a lot of CDs, unless you get special edition ones. So I'm not really bothered about the CDs. I will go through them and double check. A Are You Being Served Season 7, Season 2 and Season 6 DVD box set, sir. This is pretty nifty. I don't really think this has got much value to it either, but this is Congo the movie, dated 1995. Eyes and teeth glow in the dark. Oh, why can't I get one of them? It's got this fella. Uh, but yeah, again, it's it's sealed. It's still in its original cardboard back there is obviously slight damage there but it's still a cool collection um these are what i've put into as dvd box sets so you as you can see there's robocop you've got mash season seven and eight and whoop, season nine and ten um third rock from the sun season two season five and season three Uh, Latinva Fitness, some big ass DVD box set. Mash season one and two, Third Rock from the Sun, uh, season season four on that one. The remaining DVDs are the following. As you can see, there's a few Xbox games there and time splitters on the ps2 which is nice to see don't often get common games obviously you do so yeah let's just check ocd kicks in even with videos there's a mini little uh computer usb mouse in that 2ds uh carry case there's a couple of Disney Infinity characters. Yeah, there's another one. Um, something I was quite interested with were these turtles. Videos. Uh, so most people know this, but Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, as it was known in England or in Europe, these are VHS's, VHS uh, cassettes. Six of them there, three for three pounds, so six pounds in total. 
Uh, don't really think there's a huge value in VHS anymore, uh, but the fact they are turtles, there might be. I'm not too sure. Um, wow, this video is going on a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. We've got Sonic 1 and 2 on the Mega Drive and the Punisher UMD PSP film. So there is a selection of PS3 games. Nothing exciting. Oh, there's one left there. <clears throat> And a couple of Wii games. You've got Super Skid Marks, which I think is an amazing name for a, a game on the Amiga. You've got a Jaguar game. You've got Sims Sim Earth, not Sims, yeah, Sims Earth. Uh, and then the final one is Turok 2. The last thing in this box would be the Spider-Man limited edition DVD collector's gift set. This comes with the first film, which I think is now like 15 years old or older. I'm not too sure. 2002. Jeez, that's getting old now. Um, yeah, and this really cool bit of artwork. Again, that's got to be worth more than the individual film itself, just because the film's probably not worth too much. I'm almost tempted into keeping that uh, Spider-Man DVD. So that's the games box there. I feel like I've tidied it up better than it was originally. There's something missing. Ah, uh, PS1 games. We've got a bag of Nerf guns, but no ammo, which is annoying. This weird robotic thing, which if someone knows what this is, please tell me, because I haven't got a clue, and I'm not gonna put batteries in it, because I don't know what it does. Um, we've got the Rock Band box set there. This box here has got the drum in it. I cannot be bothered to move everything to show you a Wii drum kit, but it's all in that box there. Then you move on to the consoles. Um, we've got a Xbox original that is boxed, barely. A Xbox original there. Xbox 360, um, that's the original 360 with a memory card of 60 gigs. There is a DS console. There's three third party controllers. There is a ton of wires here which I need to go through and see if any of these consoles are actually complete. That's the next step, I think. Uh, and as you can see, there's a third original Xbox there as well. Um, a pair of Turtle Beaches. There's a PlayStation 2 controller. There's the uh, infrared sensor thing for the, the, the scope. There's another hard drive there. Um, there's a... Um, universal controller i think there is even a snes hidden behind it all and like i said i paid 35 pounds for this whole bundle of goodies uh yeah it was more than i was expecting when the guy turned up i'm over the moon with what i've picked up if there is anything there that i've kind of jumped through without really showing too much emotion to it and realistically i should maybe there was a dvd or something that i should have gone, oh my God, this is worth a stupid amount of money. Comment in the comment section below. Give me some information on stuff that I need to learn on. That'd be amazing. If there were uh, anything here, for example, the turtle uh, videos, if you used to own these videos, comment below. Tell me what your favorite episode of the turtles were. Do you still watch it now? Do you still collect it? I know there's certain YouTubers that I watch regularly that go out and collect them. And if they watch this video, they'll know who I'm talking about. Um, but like I said, £35 for this whole bundle is just a mental amount of money spent. A very, very small amount of money for a huge amount of goodies. Um, and I can't wait to go for it all and work out how much I actually bought value-wise. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Comment in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, why not sub to me? It's not going to cost you anything. And you're going to get to watch... Uh, or you're going to get the notification of my weekly pickup videos every Wednesday when I remember to upload them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Catch you next Wednesday for another pickup video.